What's up guys? So today in this video I wanted to talk about a few things that I'm very passionate about that I'm very excited about some of the stuff that I've like thought about recently and then figured it would be a solution to some of your guys' problems and that is automatically running tasks, running checklists inside of Airtable with Airtable automations. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners possibly just like you optimize their information systems. So whether that's tools like Airtable, Asana, Slack, Trello, all those, we help build out project management, CRM, invoicing, stuff like that. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description, but without further ado, we'll get right into the video right now. All right, so as you can see, I am in a sales CRM database and I do a lot of tutorials on these, but this one in particular is gonna be very helpful for some of you guys, whether it's you're looking for your sales CRM checklist or you're just looking to how to run this checklist with Airtable automation. So first I wanna explain the purpose of this automation, what it's going to do and how conditional it's going to be. This automation is going to run every time based on a set of conditions being met. So the conditions that are going to be met is Imagine you're making, you're a salesperson. You just made a bunch of sales calls. You come in here and you change like this interaction from maybe, maybe you're even in like a Kanban view, you're in your sales pipeline and you just met with someone and you take them from qualification and you want to put them in proposal. So that changes their status from qualification to proposal quite literally. And it also connects to trigger. So you just had your sales call with them. And so for someone like LKS REQ, we want to update their status to proposal. But with that, it also comes with a slew of different tasks that need to be done to submit their proposal, like send their proposal and stuff like that. So what we want to do is we want this to be in this tasks table. So this task table is going to be like where we manage all of our tasks for all of our processes in the sales CRM. And this might not be the best way to do it for like your whole business to manage your tasks like at the base level. I encourage a tool like Asana for something like that, but you could have this be an external automation and have it send it over to Asana. Well, basically what I wanna do is I wanna recreate this. Is what we, this is what we created for AceTube inquiry and I had to manually code this in here or manually just type this in here. So I'd like literally just type send proposal, type send, ask for a referral. So these are the two tasks and the checklist that I want to automate. And I want this to happen every time someone is moved to that specific stage. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm gonna show you, you just come up here, click on automations. I obviously have a lot in here. So if we just come up here and click new automation, we can name this and what we're gonna name it is automat automated checklist. So once you name your automation, that way you can go back and reference it. I encourage you to come and just click choose a trigger. And so if your example is as specific as mine, so like when the status is changed from qualification to send proposal, then what you wanna choose is when record matches condition. Now it doesn't have to be that. It can be like when a record is created, like and that'll be any record in whichever specific table you choose. It can also be when a record is updated. You can also do when your record enters a view and all these other actions, but the one that I'm going to show you how to do is when record matches condition. So once you click that, it'll bring you to this. And also note, once you click your trigger, you can't go back unless you just create a brand new automation. Kind of annoying, but welcome welcome to a new feature on Airtable. So for the trigger, what you want to do is, so when this record matches conditions, first I want to pick the table. So this is going to be in the opportunities table because that's where we're switching them in that Kanban view. We're switching their status from qualification to send proposal. So we want to say exactly that. So when the status is proposal. And now since there's already so many in there that are already proposal, you might be like, is it just gonna now every single thing in there that's already proposal, is it gonna like retroactively run all of those and run this checklist when I turn it on? No, it's not going to. It'll just be when something like that happens again. So if you deleted all those proposals, turn this on, and then you copied and pasted the proposal back in there, it would, it would run all of those. And I'll show you that at the end just for fun, creating a ton of different records. But for now, we'll just stick with this. So status is proposal. That's the only condition we need. If you want to add more conditions, you can add really as many of these, like you can add a ton in here. Here I just added like seven or eight. For us, we're just gonna do that one. And that's all we need. So we'll just run this test. And now we can click done. 
So now we have our trigger set up. So we're, I would say we're like halfway there, kind of. So now for the action, what you wanna do is you wanna come down here and click add action. And for this, if you're keeping your checklist in Airtable, then you'll wanna choose one of these. If you like want to just send a message and send maybe two messages in Slack, you'll pick this send message in Slack. Or if for some reason you manage your project management and like somehow your Google Calendar, sometimes somehow your email or Google Sheets, you can choose those. For us, what we wanna choose is we just wanna click create record. So now with create record, this first argument here is gonna be select a table. So if we just select our table, we want to create a record in our tasks table. So now once you click create a record in your task table, you want to add whichever fields you want in here. So for me, I want to add the task name and I also want to automatically assign it to one of my team members. And for the opportunities, I'm gonna show you how to automatically link that record back to that opportunities table. And that's gonna be really powerful for your relational database, kind of create that relationship between these records. That way you know, oh, I have to send this proposal for this specific opportunity. So if I just start off, I'm gonna add all of these three in the end. So I'll just start off with task name. So this first one is going to be create proposal. I think in the beginning I had send proposal in there, but you can create whatever you want, whatever you want your task name to be, put it there. Create your field. So behind my head over here, you can see this says collaborator there. So I'm just gonna type in my name. So it automatically adds it to my, me. And now we add our third and final field. And this one's the most important if you're trying to use the relational power of Airtable and you're trying to link this record back to that record in the opportunities table. So here it obviously gives you a little tutorial itself, but choose records to link to by entering record IDs or names. So you just come in here and you click this little plus over here. So you click the plus, then you click continue, and then you click record ID. So you just click this insert button right here and then bam, you're done. So now you might be like, well, Ben, do I have to create a new automation for every single task in my checklist? And my answer is yes and no. You don't have to create a brand new automation, but what you would wanna do is you would just wanna run this test, test ran successfully, you click done, and instead of going back through all those steps and creating a brand new automation, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click add another action. So now when this record matches conditions, it's gonna run action one, action two, action three. And you can think of that when record, when this record is marked as send proposal, it's gonna add this task for the send proposal, it's gonna add this task for send proposal, and it's gonna add this task for send proposal. So now we'll just come down here and click create another record because we would just want it to create a new record. And we're gonna choose again in that tasks table. And then we're gonna choose again in the field so we're gonna add all of these fields in here. And now you can come in here and type in the task name. So this one is going to be, we'll say, we'll just say send proposal. And for the collaborator, we're gonna say me again. And then for the opportunities, we're just gonna come back here and say, again, it's gonna be the same record ID. So now we can run that test and we can see that that test ran successfully. And I got another notification that I was added on a task. So now we can click done there. And now you can see if I move myself, over there, we have two create records. So we have two actions. So when it is marked as send proposal, it's going to create these two actions. Now for the most fun part, if we toggle this on, and we go back to our Airtable database, we can come in here and see it automatically linked it up to me, tagged me in it. And I actually got two notifications up here that I got tagged in it, so that's awesome. And now I'm gonna ruin my inbox and I'm gonna go show you guys what happens when I move someone else to proposal. So say, even if they were already past proposal in my pipeline, if I bring them back into proposal, I bet this will turn into a four up here pretty quickly. And it added those one and those, that two. And if we expand this, we can see it was created by automations created by, by API using automated checklist automation. So that was awesome. Now you are wondering earlier what happens if I just add a slew of these? Like what if I delete the current status and add in the send proposal status? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So I'm for this, I'm going to just go back to all opportunities. And for this as well, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these ones that are in proposal. 
and this is where you have to be very careful. So I cleared that, and now, as you can see up here at the top, I'm just gonna add one in there so that I can copy that. But as you can see up here at the top, there are no none that are, but I'm gonna paste in here nine of them. And I want you to watch what happens if we come back over here quick to this one. You can see bam, 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 bam. It's gonna add about 20 different tasks to my task sheet because even if you copy and paste it nine times, it's gonna recognize that there's nine different automations that need to happen. And so it's gonna run it however many times you have your checklist, it's gonna run it that many times. So I might have just eaten up 20 of my tasks, but it was worth it. And I definitely, okay, so I used it 12 times. But yeah, so that's how you set up that automation to run a checklist. You just gotta be really careful around what your parameters are for setting that and making sure people are being like knowledgeable about like, okay, I'm making sure that I'm mark moving these people to the right stage or the wrong stage. And so maybe right now, I'm just gonna put it out there. If you're wondering how to do an update record automation, then you can go check out this end screen right here and you can learn how to update a record with Airtable automation. So you might be looking how to like pre-fill a hidden form field in your Airtable forms. That's a pretty easy solution right there. If you wanna go learn how to update a record using Airtable automations, go check that link out right there, that little end screen right up there and go check out how to do that.